Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Noe, if you're new, and I love cooking and giving it a healthy touch. And if you want to know more about me, you can find me on Instagram as Healthful Noe or on my webpage, healthfulnoe.com. So today I'm just going to share a very simple, lovely fish and recipe that's weather perfect and comforting that you can eat with um, any cap sauce of choice. But before we go into that, um, can I ask you for a big favor, please? If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I would really appreciate that. And I promise to make it fun. I know the channel is all about, um, it's about cooking, showing you a healthier way, a healthier alternative, and healthier way to enjoy your favorite food without having to diet. So, um, and alongside, I would also be sharing some other things that I find along the way, lifestyle, workout videos, <laughs> or just, just about, you know, everything about lifestyle, positive living, and joyful living, okay? So, so yeah, so please, um, if this sounds good to you and you want to stick around, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button and turn your notification button on for me so that you can get updates whenever I share my videos. Sometimes my videos are random, but um, it's just a process. I'm a new YouTuber, um, so please <laughs> just enjoy the process and enjoy, um, and I think we're gonna have fun. So today, let's just head off and I will show you exactly what I'm making. So that's getting it all the way. ginger and onions and bay leaf so this is chili powder and and then there's chili powder inside and dried onions so that's um, curry and thyme that's nutmeg your mixed beans tomato paste and goat's mince Goat meat means that's good. Goat meat means and then salsa and then goat meat. So and um, that's all I'll need for my goat meat stew, goat meat sauce. So I started with boiling down my goat meat with fresh ginger and stuck cube and also a bit of pink salt just to get that deep flavors in. Okay, so boil down your goat meat. So the reason I've, um, I'm cooking without oil just now is to um, see the amount of oil that will come out from the, the mince. So you know it's very it's very important that you check this because you know meat already contains fats, especially like your goat's meat, and um, they already contain fats. So just just don't assume that oh there's no oil. They already have fat, and you don't want to put excess oil. So I think. Um, the best thing to do is to cook down your beans first, then see what the consistency is like and see how much fat is released before you add your oil. In that way, you're not taking excess oil that your body really needs. So, yes, that's what I'm doing now, okay? So I'm just going to um, let it brown and then I'll add the other ingredients. So you can see, you can see the fat has been released. So you can see the amount of oil that you have here. I don't know if you can see it very well. So it's very important that you do this so that you don't um, use or add excess oil because you know that that's where the your bulk of your calories come from your oil from your fat content. So if you're able to keep your oil your fat contents down. In your meal you should be fine so now 
So at this point, I'm just going to add a little bit of um, olive oil now. That's roughly two tablespoons. That's that is 30 ml. It's not even up to two tablespoons. So. Now, I'm going to saute my onions now. So that's onions and ginger together. Um, this bit is going to take a little while, about five minutes, because I want the um, onions to cook really well. So I'm going to cover it and let it simmer, salty. Ta-da! So this has been cooking for roughly three, four minutes. Um, so this is what it looks like I'm sure you'll be wondering why I didn't cook my onion first and um, it was intentional so um, and also I didn't blend my on onion for this recipe again it was intentional this is just to give the the sauce the stew some some bulk so now I'm going in with my my paste tomato my tomato paste so that's like um, one full tube of tomato paste. I don't know how precisely how, how much that is, but it's just like one tube. So I'm just going to let everything infuse. Oh my God, it smells so lovely. It smells really nice. So next I'm going in with my passata, that's blended tomatoes. So if you have chopped tomatoes or fresh tomatoes, you can use it at this point. You can add at this point. So I'm just going to stir it to bring all to mix in very well. And next I'm going in with 30 ml white wine vinegar. So I'm using a lot of, I'm using vinegar today to um, reduce the acidity in the tomatoes. Um, ever since I discovered this, it's just been it. And it sharpens, if you're cooking any tomato dish and you add a little bit of um, vinegar or lemon or lime, it just brings it together, reduces the acidity and sharpens the taste. And next that was um, my chili powder and dried, dried onion, curry, thyme, and lastly my nutmeg. So pretty much your spices at this point, you want to just add it in and then turn, you know, stirring together. So the white wine vinegar will bring all of these ingredients together without um, any of them of outpowering the dish. So that's just the beauty. It just gives it that subtle, um, um, sweet and um, not very sour taste. It's just beautiful. Just try it if you've never tried it. Just, just try it. Don't miss it out on this dish. Okay, so that's it now. Next, I'm just going to um, add my goat's meat and the stock, everything just now at this point. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. The combination of ginger, goat's meat, nutmeg, thyme, curry, and then the vinegar bringing all these ingredients together so none of the ingredients are outpowering. It's beautiful.
Okay, guys. So that's our sauce ready. Our sauce is ready. Ready, 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 ready. So that's the stew here. And oh my goodness, it smells really, really amazing. Let me just start this thing. Right, so yes, that's it. That's it here. So excuse my kids are in the background and I don't know how else to do this. But um, I'm sure you understand the times we're living in. So that is the sauce now ready. And we are going to serve it with spaghetti today. I'm going to serve it with spaghetti today. Uh, I'm just going to pick a little bit. Look. Look how fresh and beautiful it looks. So this is just what you want without a lot of oil. And with this, you can comfortably enjoy your spaghetti, your pasta, because there's no much oil in it. So speaking about calories, it's not actually your carbohydrates that give you a lot of calories in your food. It's actually the fat, the, the oil that adds a lot of calories because um, one gram of um, fat is equal to nine calories whereas for carbohydrates one gram of carbohydrates is equal to four calories so in actual sense it's your fat that adds up the calorie in your dish so if you can um, reduce the amount of oil you cook with you will um, be able to enjoy every food type your carbs and, and your proteins and what have you without the guilt or without the feeling that you're taking so much but obviously everything in moderation so so basically yes yeah, so this is it and is a complete is a complete meal it's got your source of protein which is in fact it's double protein so if you're vegetarian and you don't want to add goat meat or meat to it obviously because vegans and vegetarians we don't eat meat so if you don't want that just um just don't add the meats but um you have your protein sauce which is your beans so that's the beautiful thing about this recipe it's it gives you the option to um if you want to go meat free you can do that but yes guys this is it goat meat stew without so much oil look how beautiful that looks just look 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 look, look. so guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to leave me a comment if you've enjoyed watching this video and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!